Dan, this latest development, I mean, how much, I guess, do we take away from it, given that, you know, domestic as well as international independent uh, bodies had already verified the November election results as being valid? Yeah, this isn't so much about uh, whether the November election was actually uh, free and fair and legitimate. It's more about the military figuring out a way to keep its hold on power and influence on, in the government um, in the years ahead. And so we've seen over the years in Myanmar, uh, Hong Kong Suu Kyi's party, you know, dating back to 1990, they won a landslide election there that the military ignored. Um, they spent about two decades drafting a new constitution that would guarantee them a lot of power. Um, and, you know, once Suu Kyi's party joined the political process again, it had the same results. She was winning um, massive uh, majorities in, in parliament. So, you know, she won 80 percent of seats in, in the November election. And to the, to the military, this was ultimately the threat. You know, they were worried that she would become so popular that she could force through uh, changes to the Constitution that would dilute their power. So, you know, what this is about and what they need to do over the next year, you know, from their perspective, is to figure out a way to change the rules, um, either by um, banning Suu Kyi completely um, or some other mechanism to ensure that when they do hold the next election, it doesn't produce the exact same result. Will international sanctions curb their measures at all, given that we have now seen the U.S. formally declare this a coup? Um, that's unlikely. I mean, the, the military leaders are already um, under sanctions for their treatment of the Rohingya. So more targeted sanctions against them, um, you know, it's unlikely that that will be effective. Um, so that re and anything broader would hit the wider public, which is, you know, largely been voting for Suu Kyi. So the U.S. and, and other um, countries will be careful to try and target these um, any measures um, as, you know, best they can on the military, not hurt the wider population. Um, for instance, the U.S. review of aid, um, you know, they gave about uh, almost $200 billion, million dollars last year. But a lot of that went to health programs, which will probably still stay in place.